What's up, everybody? We have Corey here, who's a pretty successful student of Major League Profits. And point of this call is I want him to share his experience and what he's been doing recently to make money with sports cards. But Corey, introduce yourself. Where are you from? You know, give people the, the rough background. Uh, my name is Corey Hammond. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Um, collected cards as a kid, just got back into it. Maybe like in November, started like doing breaks and stuff and found out that that was not a very. Yeah, no good. <laughs> <laughs> not a very good no way good. to to get to, you know, to, to make money or um, in sports cards. I was actually losing a lot of money that way. And then I you know came across your program through a Facebook ad, I believe. And I was like, man, this sounds legit. Let me give it a shot. OK, cool, cool. So what were your uh, like. Before you joined the program, what was your knowledge on like? Did, like, did you know you could make money in sports cards? Did you just think of it like as a hobby, um, or did you like know it was possible, but you just didn't have the right information? Like, what were your like preconceived like notions about sports cards? Um, I feel like you could make money, but I just didn't know how. And I feel like there was some information that I was missing. I would see like graded cards online, and I just never understood that, like why those values rose or, or, you know, why yeah. the card would two or three X just because it was graded. And I was just kind of like scared of the grading process, which I think like a lot of people are. And so if they get like a nice card, they just want to sell it off for sell it raw, like instantly for, for, you know, whatever it's worth and just yeah. make the, make the quick money and just continue their, their habit of ripping packs or buying into breaks or whatever. Cool. Cool. All right, cool. And then I guess next question, the golden question. So like you joined the program when, and then how much money have you made since? How have you made that money? What cards have you bought? What'd you buy them for? What'd you sell them for? Give the audience a little bit of a snippet on that. If you're enjoying the content of the video and want to learn how to make a side income with sports cards, I spent the past three months putting together a training to show you exactly how it's done in detail. Sports cards has allowed me to live a life beyond my wildest imagination, and I'm thankful for the hobby every single day. That is the reason I teach sports cards, and I'm so passionate about it. At the end of the training, we offer a paid program where you can work closer with me. However, I do not want you joining until you've watched the training I put together. It will show you exactly what's inside the program and how to make money with sports cards, and from there, you can make an educated decision. If you'd like to sign up for the training, either scan the QR code on the screen or text the word ERIC to 973-755-9486 or click the link in the description just to repeat it. If you'd like to sign up and watch the training, scan the QR code or text ERIC to 973-755-9486 or click that link in the description. Now let's get back to the video. Uh, so I bought the program like either late December, early January. I finished all the videos pretty quick. Um, I actually got kind of pretty lucky. I, I was like, I didn't know where to start buying. And I just so, so happened to go buy a NBA Prism blaster box just to kind of see what was in there. Um, I hit a silver women um, went and got it graded, came back at 10. That was my first sell. Made good money on that because, I mean, the – what I had into it wasn't a lot just based off of buying it out of a, uh, getting yeah. it out of a blaster box. That helps. Sometimes it's better to be lucky <laughs> than good, right? <laughs> yeah. And then I was, uh, I saw the returns on that one or, you know, people were telling me like this card's going to be worth this much as a 10 before I'd even got the grade and it looked perfect. And I was like, well, I want to do this again. So I went and bought another one. And that one I was in for close to $800. I sold the second one for $21.50. Nice. After, eBay, after eBay fees made around eleven hundred dollars on that one. Mm -hmm. And so far with the you know other cards coming in, uh, I've been starting to buy more NFL now and just strictly focus on that. Um made since February, mid-February to now, made it probably profit at 34, 3600, somewhere in that range. Sweet, sweet. 34 to 3600. And cool. So that's definitely not bad extra side money. What would you no, say is like, because you said you were like scared of the grading process, new to this whole thing. Now you've obviously made money and it's, you've made money pretty damn quick. So like, what were like the biggest like things you learned in the program or realizations you had? Like, what was like, what would you say are the few of the biggest like 
things you learned in the from the program? Uh, just being able to like negotiate and pull comps on like on the PSA 10 cards and to actually see if it's worth buying raw and trying to get it graded and get it flipped. Um, evaluating the cards conditions. Uh, I kind of knew a little bit about that, but like not enough to feel comfortable, you know, just buying out on my own and, and uh, trying to get those cards graded. Okay, cool, cool. All right, sweet. And what would you say, last question I'll run by you, um, and like the answer to this question cannot be join the program, but what would you say to someone that is new into sports cards? What advice would you give them without joining major league profits? What would you say? What advice? Um, get your cards graded. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good advice. <laughs> and then get your cards graded and then sell them. Don't, don't be one of those guys that holds a raw card thinking the value is going to go up or don't be the guy that buys the PSA 10 thinking the value is going to go up. Just be that, be that middleman that connects the the raw cards and brings them to that PSA 10 level and then just get rid of them before that those values decrease. Yep. That's good advice. Actually, last, this is the last question. What, um, like you made 3,500 in the first like two months or so. What do you plan on doing with like the extra money? How much do you anticipate to like make at the end of the year, by the end of the year? Like I'm curious, what do you plan on to do with like the extra money? Like how much do you plan to make? Uh, right now I'm just pouring everything back in. So all my profits, I'm just continuing to buy more cards and my budget's increasing. And I know if just following your system, my profits will just continue to increase. So it's just, um, eventually I'd like to get to a point to where I'm making at least like 10 K a month. Nice. Nice. Yep. I've, uh, I've seen it done. Well, I appreciate it, Corey. Thank you so much. Um, people will watch this may send you a message on Facebook or Instagram. They might find you and be like, how'd you do that? Like, can you give me some <laughs> advice? Uh, so watch out for that, but I appreciate it, Corey. Thank you. I right, appreciate it, Eric.